and this could be like a very quick answer. When I think spinning, does it cause any kind of radio interference? If you had a radio playing, would it create No, that? no. Uh, this uh, installation doesn't produce any bad effects, but if we speak about impulse gravity generator, we put a Faraday cage over the installation, otherwise uh, all the, the computers in the surrounding area will be burned. So there are some still unexplored uh, fields which accompany these effects and we noticed them. Mm. One thing that I wanted to ask, I don't know if it's, um, it might be uh, kind of off bounds as well, but you're saying that you're using different materials now um, as opposed to the superconductors, like normal materials, um, what would they be? Uh, I just uh, wanted to emphasize that it is not necessary always to use uh, superconducting materials for the gravity research, but these materials are very good as modal materials. We can uh, practically create whatever magnetic fields we want and uh, use the properties of Bose-Einstein condensate. As far as we understand um, uh, how uh, the system works, we can move to normal materials because uh, the key to uh, polarizing space is also rotating magnetic fields. Uh, which work in uh, a certain uh, resonance cycle. And uh, in order to create these conditions, we don't need superconductors. We just need normal materials. This is more for like uh, getting down on the layman side of things. Um, and kind of going back to like the applications and implications of your work. Um, but do you see it? Um, what kind of a, what kind of a, like the vehicles of the future and the weapons of the future and things like that that may come through this? Or, uh... Uh, uh, well, first of all, I'm a scientist. I'm not a military person, and I try to uh, keep uh, the results of uh, the research of my team and of my colleagues on the net. It's open to everyone, and uh, I'm ready uh, to have scientific and industrial contacts with any organization that is interested in this uh, research and in, this method, in these methods. But definitely uh, everything can be used for military purposes, uh, the planes, the UFOs if we build one, uh, gravity impulse generator, but they can also be used uh, for the purposes of defense. And uh, if we speak about uh, different uh, space bodies that approach Earth with big speed, or um, if we speak about uh, drilling uh, uh, to very uh, deep uh, level inside the Earth, if we speak about um, propagation system, if we speak about communications, so there can be different uh, applications, military, scientific, medical, technical, uh, whatever you say. Great, great, that's perfect. Um, I was just wondering as well, um, what are the general criticisms or like, um, I don't criticism isn't necessarily the right word, but what are the things you generally come up against with your peers the, um, with this theory? Because obviously it's a groundbreaking uh, theory. What are the things that kind of um, uh, challenge people the most? Uh, frankly speaking, I don't, I've never met any serious uh, scientific opposition in this field. Uh, because, first of all, uh, these results are mm, unique at present. Only several laboratories in the world uh, tried some uh, simplified approach to the same problem, but uh, people who worked in this uh, area for uh, several years or who contacted me, uh, they are convinced that uh, we are not creating any new science, we are just uh, opening the pages which were not opened before us. Of course some people say you go against Newton, you go against Einstein, and then uh, these are usually the professors of physics. And then we have a very interesting discussion. And I say, please, uh, Professor, could you tell me what exactly we are talking about? And after half an hour or even 10 minutes of discussion, uh, 
we came to a conclusion that uh, most of the professors of physics, they did not study the works of Einstein, nor the works of uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Uh, I'm not an expert uh, on their works, but I spent uh, several weeks at the library of the British Museum in London, and I studied the works of Sir Isaac Newton in the original. The language is a bit different, but quite understandable. And uh, uh, I'm not very good at German, though I can read, but I used all the translations uh, from mm, the works of Einstein and his lectures and his books and his articles. And I found that a lot of things, uh, my experiments, the experiments of my team, they prove a lot of theoretical statements that were made by Newton or Einstein. And people who want to criticize me, they practically um, have no background in this field. So. Um, I was just wondering, um, it's kind of a, not that direct a question, but obviously um, you've had the interest from NASA that have approached you. Um, is this something that worldwide everyone's interested in, or are you having to kind of really push the point to uh, get people excited? Well, uh, uh, NASA is interested, definitely. Uh, British Airspace uh, is interested. Uh, people in France are interested. There is enormous interest from China because they have very good theoreticians in this field and uh, they are building, uh, slowly but surely, uh, the research program in this field. Uh, There are certain difficulties even for people who are working in this area because if we, are, uh, if we discuss the problems of gravity or anti-gravity, it's like a red flag. People become excited. Uh, they <laughs> uh, it's too unusual to take it openly because for many years uh, these topics were shown only in the scientific literature or uh, science fiction and also in some films. So uh, now we need a very good uh, scientific analysis of the situation and uh, we need to accept uh, experimental gravity research as one of the uh, leading fields in physics. That is important. Even in NASA, you know, NASA is a very conservative organization, much more conservative than British Aerospace. A lot of people are working there. They are normal engineers, rather good engineers. But they have also assistant directors and managers who would like to continue um, their work in NASA uh, for several years more. And uh, they are not flexible. They try to base their research, even with uh, International Space Station and shuttle program uh, on the technology of nuts and bolts and that's not the way to explore space and uh, the President of the United States, Mr. Bush, uh, made an excellent uh, program for NASA uh, and uh, he made an interview on the TV uh, concerning the exploration of deeper space Everything was right, but one thing was missing. They don't have the technology which allows this exploration. So the, the best thing to do is to concentrate on the modern aspects of physics, on experimental gravity research, and to put even 5% of funding which is available for the International Space Station to this research. And in that case, in 10 years, we can get a new flying vehicle which will fly all over the globe and even to deeper space. I was just wondering if you could elaborate on um, Eric Lathwaite's gyroscopes and his um, results uh, in mass transfer. Okay, just a couple of, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, previous. Yeah, uh, I don't want to criticize uh, NASA people. They're uh, hardworking people and they're determined, definitely. But uh, the administration of NASA uh, has, in my point of view, poor understanding what should be done. And uh, I have uh, my greatest respect uh, for John Glenn, 
with the first American uh, astronaut and uh, the former member of the U.S. Congress. And uh, mm, he uh, supported with all his forces uh, the uh, breakthrough propulsion system research and the research which uh, was begun with uh, superconductors. And each time he came to Marshall Space Flight Center, he was met uh, with joy and with respect and people promised everything and he is a very wise uh, person. He understands what uh, the future is about. But then he left uh, and uh, the research uh, was slowly uh, stopped and now it is practically at zero point. And uh, sometimes people uh, still remember John Glenn and said, oh, he wanted this research to be continued. But then modern administration